Dear students, at the outset, I would like to congratulate you all for taking up the subject of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, it's a new subject which has been introduced in the year 2025 and 2027 will be the first batch which will be appearing for the ISC artificial intelligence subject at the ISC level. Now, when we talk about artificial intelligence, this subject is a very interesting subject. It's the first time you are studying it in class 11 and uh, slowly you will be the first batch appearing for ISC 2027, artificial intelligence. It's a very interesting subject, a very interesting. So I would like to welcome you all for this subject. Uh, these videos, basically, this will be chapter wise and will be covering up the various different aspects. I, Dr. Santosh Kumar, would like to welcome you all to these sessions. I'm a Guinness World Record holder. As all of you know, I'm a Guinness World Record holder for the longest computer programming lesson and have been conducting many artificial intelligence sessions. I conducted continuous 151 AI sessions on different AI tools. And here I am to take you up to this interesting journey for this artificial intelligence. That's a part of your ISC curriculum. Now, since we have taken up this subject, so we need to understand what is the content of the syllabus. It's 100 marks paper, 70 marks theory, and then 30 marks we have for the practical. In the theory portion, we have the basic concepts of artificial intelligence, then introduction and state of art of artificial intelligence, natural language processing, that is NLP, potential use of AI, Mathematics for AI, data visualization, theoretical and practical aspects of data processing, data modeling and simple linear regression, and then ethical uses and ethical practices in artificial intelligence. So these are the basic units. And again, these units will be dividing up into various chapters. So one by one in various lectures, various sessions, I'll be taking up these topics and we will be completing this syllabus for class 11, right? So be connected and uh, all of you be updated. Whatever doubts, whatever queries you will be having, you will let me know. You can send it in the comments so that whatever queries are there that could be updated. You will also find a file along with it, a Google form through which you can post the information about you so that I can make you updated about the contents and the various updates. So all the viewers must fill the Google form after the end of the session. Now, when we talk about the class 11 syllabus, that is artificial intelligence class 11, right? So this is artificial intelligence topic. Chapter one, which I have divided, that is applications and benefits of artificial intelligence. Applications and benefits of artificial intelligence. So after studying this chapter, you must be able to know all our chapters will be having a simple exercise that in the beginning will be learning, will be working upon what are the learning objectives. Once, once you are complete with the chapter, what all things you must be aware of. So after studying this chapter, you should be able to understand what is artificial intelligence, what are the different types of artificial intelligence, and then we'll also be studying about the history of artificial intelligence, how it came into origin. That's also a very important concern. So when you begin a topic, when you begin a chapter, you must understand that what you are going to study. So when we talk about artificial intelligence, what is artificial intelligence? Right? What is artificial intelligence? Actually, that is a very important thing. So when we talk about artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence is a term that's very fascinating. And even to students, it has been very fascinating. That is reflected by the number of students who have taken this up as a subject. We all see artificial intelligence around us. Whether you talk about your Alexa, you talk about your Siri, you talk about your Insta, everywhere artificial intelligence is there. And it's not new. Remember Deep Blue, the robot which to which Gary Kasparov, the chess champion, lost his match. Means the intelligence was provided to the robot 
to the computer. So AI is found in robots. AI is found in self-driving cars. AI is found in drones. AI is found in medical systems. AI is found in the online shopping sites. In one way or the other, AI is impacting your daily life. Sometimes we don't understand, but yes, we are into the world of artificial intelligence. So it's important to define what AI actually is and what it is not. Because sometimes we are misguided that this is artificial intelligence. This is artificial intelligence or this is artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence, if you define it, is a method to enable a computer or a computer controlled robot or a software to think intelligently, right? To think intelligently. Many times when you talk about the computer, the computer has everything, but it does not have brain, right? The computer does not have brain. The computer does not have emotions. So adding that extra emotion to the computer, that is artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is a method to enable a computer or a computer controlled robot or a software to think intelligently, just like humans think. While computers can store data, they lack inherent intelligence to use it without human instructions. So the human brain, as we say, it is far superior to a computer. Thus artificial intelligence involves training the computers to learn and exhibit intelligence just like the humans, isn't it? AI comprises a set of technologies that allow computers to perform advanced functions, including the ability to see, understand, and translate spoken and written language. Analyze intelligence in machines programmed to think, reason, and learn like humans. Instead of explicit programming for specific tasks, AI systems use algorithms and vast data sets to recognize patterns, make decisions, and improve performance over time. So that is artificial intelligence. It is used now in different industries, different fields, linguistic, philosophy, science, teaching, psychology, neurobiology, computer science, everywhere, every field it is used. So that is, you can see, the different uses of artificial intelligence. Now, when we talk about artificial intelligence, we need to understand what are the different types of artificial intelligence. First, we talk about narrow AI. What is narrow AI? Narrow AI, which is also known as weak AI, right? It is designed to perform the specific tasks, right? Specific tasks, particular tasks, like you can't say email spam filters, Netflix recommendation to system, self-driven vehicles, voice interface based assistance like Alexa and Siri. So these all are performing the specific tasks. So they are narrow AI. Certain key features that they perform are dedicated assigned tasks. It is limited to a particular field of applications and has a predefined set of functions. This is about narrow AI. Then we talk about general AI. General AI, this artificial general intelligence, also called strong AI, right? Strong AI, they can understand a vast scope of activities like a human intelligence. Strong AI system can find solutions to unfamiliar tasks without human intervention, like the chatbots. They understand the consumer's needs and suggest solution based on the learned intelligence and training systems that function without a human trainer, like cars, aeroplanes, and all. Certain key features, they are capable of fly, applying retained information to solve new problems. They can think and respond like humans, just like humans think and respond and performs a variety of tasks in changing context, that's the more important thing. Not on a predefined set of values, but again, depending upon changing of context, they can perform the various tasks. Based on the functions, they can have reactive machines. Reactive machines, what are they? These are the most basic type of AI. They lack memory and cannot use previous data for better humans' ability to react to different stimuli. Like the IBM's Deep Blue in its chess game against Gary Kasparov. They have a limited memory. Example like chatbots and self-driven cars, they are based on limited memory. Uh, the theory of mind. These robots, they can use common sense. They have common sense to interpret data and make real-time decisions. Self-awareness, they are self-aware and they can interpret human emotions and make decisions that are not only logical, but also influenced by feelings. Current status. Such machines do not exist, but we are working upon them and slowly there will be certain that with they work, they think. Now certain things, as I told that there are certain uh, misconceptions as well that this is an AI, this is not. So there is a time fine line between technology and using AI and technology that doesn't 
simply, but a uh, machine that is trained with data or experience can take decisions or predictions is considered artificial intelligent. So if a machine performs a predefined task, it is automation, right? If a machine performs predefined tasks, like your washing machine, the toy cars, they have certain instructions, the smart TV, they have certain instructions and they work on those instructions and based upon that, the tasks are performed. So this type of AI is basically when we talk about, so these are not artificial intelligence, but they are what we say, automated machines, right? Now, when we talk about history of AI, a very interesting history, it's not that it's just the chat GPT has come and AI has come. No, it's absolutely not. Long ago, 1956 and onwards, before that also, when we talk in 1949, Edmund Berkeley, he published a book, Giant Brains or Machines That Think, suggesting machines could think, calculate, conclude, and choose. So the thought had already come. 1950, Alan Turing published Computing Machinery and Intelligence. He proposed the Turing test to assess machine intelligence. Uh, this test basically involves a human decoding if they are interacting with a machine or a person. The machine passes if it can trick the human at least 30% of the time. So 1950, again, human intelligence surpassing artificial intelligence. Then 1952, Arthur Samuel, he developed the first computer program that could independently learn to play checkers. 1955, John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence. John McCarthy is also known as the father of artificial intelligence and organized the Dartmouth Conference in 1956, which marked the AI's beginning as a field. So, John McCarthy is considered as the father of artificial intelligence. 1958, John McCarthy developed LISP, LISP, a popular programming language for AI research. So this all goes on and again machine translation and early AI task was machine translation attempts to simplify, replace words like Russian to English. So the translation was not possible that time. Then 1965, Joseph Wieselbeng developed ELISA, an interactive computer program that could functionally converse in English. 1966, Shecky, the robot was developed by Charles Rosen. That was the first general purpose mobile robot. Again. 1970 to mid-90s, the computer scientists faced a severe shortage of AI research funding known as AI winters due to unfulfilled promises and the inability of computers to process the enormous data AI applications required. So, again, 1970s reality check. Then certain key developments were there. 1970 developed a robot, that is Vasita robot, aiming for a personal robot resembling a person. 1980, the robot 2, it was built which was capable of communicating, reading musical scores and playing an electronic organ. See, 1984, release of Electric Dreams, a film about an AI computer developing emotions. 1986, Mercedes-Benz released a driverless van equipped with cameras and sensors. 1995, Richard Wallace developed the chatbot Alice. 1997, IBM's Deep Blue became the first computer to win a chase game again match against world champion Gary Kasparov. 2000, Cynthia Brazel developed Kismet, a robot that could recognize and simulate emotions with its human-like face. 2002, iRobot released Roomba, an autonomous robot vacuum cleaner. 2004, NASA launched its rovers, the first human intervention without human intervention, the Mars mission. 2005, Boston Dynamics Big Dog, a robot videos went viral. 2009, Google secretary developed a driverless car which passed neighbors' self-driving test by 2014. So see how things are improving, things are moving on. 2011, Apple released Siri, a virtual assistant on iOS. 2014, Microsoft released Cortana, a virtual assistant similar to Siri. Amazon released its Alexa, a home assistant that became a smart speaker. Again, 2015 to 17, Google DeepMind's AlphaGo defeated human Go champions. 2016, Hanson Robotics created Sophia, a humanoid robot. This all used the AI. 2018, the first piece of AI-generated artwork was sold at a world auction. DataGrid released this photorealistic AI-generated pieces. Alibaba's language processing AI beat human intellect on a Stanford reading and comprehension test. 2019, Google's AlphaStar achieved Grandmaster status in StarCraft 2, outperforming most human players. 
2020, OpenAI began beta testing of GPT-3, an AI model that uses deep learning to create content almost indistinguishable from human content. 21 to 23, and basically in 22, OpenAI launched DAL-E, DAL-2, and DAL-E3 was in generative AI models group, capable of creating detailed images from text. 2024, Google launched Gemini 1.5, which proceeds processes vast amount of information and maintains context in complex conversation. So we are seeing the history, how starting from the 19, late 1950s till 2024, it's developing and it's still developing every day when you suit and talk about AI tools, different LLMs, they are developing. So um, going through this chapter, as we talked about what is artificial intelligence, how the artificial intelligence developed, what things are AI and what are not AI. Right. So these are the various terms, things related to artificial intelligence. You can go through the recap. Again, you can go through these key terms. What is AI? What is narrow AI? What is general AI? What are reactive machines? What are limited memory? What are Turing test? What are AI winters? What was it? Lisp, chatbot, smart speakers, computer vision, natural language processing. What are all these? Right. Now let's perform certain exercises. All of you must do it. Which of the following is considered an example of narrow AI? What I told Netflix recommendation system. What is the main characteristic of a reactive machine? It has no memory and reacts only to the current stimuli. Who coined the term artificial intelligence? John McCarthy. Which of these is not considered artificial intelligence? The automatic toy car. What was one of the key reasons for the AI winters? Insufficient funding. What does artificial intelligence aim to achieve? To understand a vast scope of activities like human intelligence. Which AI technology enables computers to see and interpret visual information? Computer vision. The Turing test primarily assesses the machine's ability to deceive a human into thinking it is human. Which of these is an example of AI with limited memory? A chatbot that remembers previous part of the conversation. According to the text, what is one of the main reasons people misunderstand AI? Movies and television shows create false hopes about its capabilities, isn't it? Uh, now, certain questions. Define artificial intelligence in your own words based on the chapter. I hope this you will be able to do. Briefly explain the difference between narrow AI and general AI. Why is an automatic washing machine considered automation and not AI? Describe the Turing test and its purpose. What was the significance of IBM's deep blue defeating Gary Kasparov? List three applications of AI. What is natural language processing and how does it enable? What was constant human input a challenge for early AI projects like the machine in translation? Mention two types of AI based on functionality who are considered the founding fathers of artificial intelligence. So you will go through this question. I'll be again sending updating certain questions and uh, the PDF of the files, PDF of the files on those who will fill the Google form. They will be receiving the PDF of the file on their mobile numbers as well as the mail ID. So if you would like to receive the updates, the PDF of the chapter, kindly subscribe to the channel. Fill the form and uh, I'll be sending you back the different PDF of the file and other questions and other chapters of this. So I hope by now everybody is clear with this chapter and you have understood what is artificial intelligence, right? So with this, I end the chapter number one. If you have any doubts, any queries, you can put up in the comments when you are uh, filling the form, right? And uh, thanks to all of you for attending the session. Keep attending the sessions so that you are aware of the topic and you are able to understand whatever I'm teaching. Thank you and wish you all good luck for your future endeavors. Thank you. All the best.